Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for another empties video. Let me just show you this shirt and get it over with. It's a very cute little sweater that says quit playing games with my heart, which is obviously a shout out to the Backstreet Boys, but I just wanted to show you that since you can't really see it from where we're sitting. Uh, it's junk food brand and it's from Target. Now I feel like I don't have as many empties as I normally do in these videos, which hopefully is a good thing. Hopefully I won't ramble too much and we can get through it. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Let's just start. <laughs> I'm going to start with candles. I know that I always have candles in my empties videos and it kind of like is a visual for me to see just how many candles I burn through. Like I am such a candleaholic. It's not even funny, but whatever. That's where we're going to start. So these are Christmassy candles because I haven't filmed one of these since before Christmas. But the first one was, um, they're all Bath and Body Works. This one is, was in the scent Peppermint. It's one of the essential oils candles, which means that it's like a really pure clean scent like just very refined and uh yeah it smelled like candy canes and it was so lovely during the christmas time and then like this is my personal favorite christmas scent of all time from bath and body works it's called winter um this one has white woods pine needles sparkling clementine and spiced clove and i really think it's that clementine note like that citrus note combined with all the other like usual suspects like the pine needles and stuff that give it that extra edge and they've had this one for years and if they ever stop making it I'll be real sad because it's like my favorite Christmas scent. Another old standby is just Fresh Balsam. I really liked the packaging on it this year too. It smells like Christmas trees. Then this one was also from their um, essential oil line which again I think that just means like a lot of their candles will have these big long descriptions on the bottom but the essential oil ones are just like so this is called juniper and it's made with cedarwood and eucalyptus and like that's it um this one hard to describe but it almost has like a christmas tree scent to it too and so that's why i bought it and burned it during the holidays so that was juniper and then my january like new year's candle was this guy and it was called but first champagne and this one had bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine so this was nice, like a nice refresh after the um, holiday season. I've been like full steam ahead on the spring train, like in terms of clothes, in terms of like scents around the home, in terms of like, I don't know, everything. I'm just like spring, 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 and then summer, I don't know. I've really been enjoying all of the seasons. Next up is something a little bit random and also related to the holidays. This was a house cleanser or like a surface cleanser. It's the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Limited Edition Seasonal Scent called Iowa Pine. So this smelled like Christmas trees. I like the Mrs. Meyers brand in general. Um, I love that they have seasonal limited edition scents. I think that's really fun and festive. Like I was just saying, I really love the idea of seasons and like doing specific things around seasons. So what better way than to have a Christmas tree scented cleanser? Um, but full disclosure, I did actually use this all year. Like this one was from last year. And then I've picked up, I think like two others of this scent because it's just such a lovely scent to like clean your house with. It's better to me than like all your traditional like lemon scented cleansers or whatever. Like citrus is fine, but Christmas tree scent is like, I don't know. I just love it. So yeah, there's that. This is container number who knows what of my Donna Karen cashmere mist deodorant. This stuff is so good. I'm so obsessed. It's the best deodorant ever. It stops you from sweating. It keeps you smelling amazing. It is this creamy, like powdery, like beautiful feminine scent. Like I truly love this stuff. Like I'm such an advocate. So there's that. <laughs> so washed out ah. gonna move to some makeup because I don't have a ton of it first one oh this is funny this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today but I have the full size this is the um, bare minerals gen nude matte liquid lipstick in the shade swag I'm a huge fan of this bare minerals liquid lipstick line they smell amazing first of all they smell like literal cookies and cream they are a little bit moussey so they're not super drying yet they are still long lasting I think the color swag is beautiful it's like subtle enough to go with a very natural look which is like basically what I have on today I don't have much makeup on today but they're also pigmented enough to go with more of like an intense like smoky eye and you know what I'm saying you could really pair it with any look and yeah I have the full size now and I really love it and I'd be interested in checking out other colors in the line another makeup item I think this was it must have been a birch box thing because it's not full size it's a pixie by Petra lip gloss in the shade honey sheen I really liked this um oh it looks like I have a little bit left in here but 
it has like a peppermint smell which is good it's not my favorite smell in the world but it's good and it was just like a really pretty sheer nudie peachy sparkly lip gloss I don't know I know Pixie's not the cheapest drugstore brand in the world so there's that but like in the realm of drugstore lip glosses I would definitely like be interested in picking this up it was like glossy and pretty and like a little bit sticky in the sense that it would stay on all day but not too sticky I don't know it was nice now this guy is um like an old faithful for so many people this is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder to be honest I am not a huge fan of loose powder products in general just because I feel like they're messy um, I tend to prefer pressed powders but this stuff is brilliant I mean it's so finely milled it's so natural looking on the skin it really sets everything into place it'll keep you nice and matte but not cakey not dry just like matte I don't know it's it's really nice um, this came in like a Sephora favorites kit I think so it's not full size and then I actually have another one of these from like a different Sephora favorites kit or Birchbox from something but I do recommend this a lot my memory card got full so uh, I deleted some stuff and now I have to hurry up but yeah so these are a matching set of Tony and Guy volume addiction shampoo and conditioner um, I think it was like limited edition packaging very cute now it says these are for fine hair and to be honest I have very thick hair and I have a lot of hair and I actually just cut off five and a half inches and I still have a lot of hair so I didn't really need these for like the fine hair aspect I just thought they were cute packaging and I think they were on sale at Target they smelled really nice which is always a perk and then I liked them this did lather up fairly well which is a big thing of mine I don't like to have to use a ton of shampoo in order for it to lather so this like did a fairly good job and then the conditioner um on the con like on that same vein I like also a conditioner where a little bit goes a long way and it'll just kind of help you tangle my hair right away this did but not like I mean it didn't do the best job of that I had to use a fair amount so I would not repurchase these but they were just fine they were good Batiste dry shampoo an old standby this was in the floral and flirty blush scent which is a nice like soft kind of sweet fruity scent you know it's a good dry shampoo that's cheap it'll really soak up the oil and then there is a white cast though which like our dark hair problems to a T it comes out when you brush it in or whatever but like it's just annoying with that said I still continue to repurchase this stuff like I already have a different scent of this but I just had to say it this was a product called um, beauty protector is the brand I think it's a Birchbox exclusive and this is the protectin oil argan oil for the hair this bottle lasted me forever um, just because I don't know I didn't use that much hair oil at a time it smells amazing it smells kind of like pink sugar like that perfume by Aquio Aquiolina or something like that it had a pump which was nice however being that it was an oil like it didn't always come out very easily I would have to open the cap and pour some into my hand especially towards the end I would repurchase this though again it smells really nice and it's a hair oil like it did what it needed to do I would put it at the ends and it would just kind of nourish things and keep things soft and I think it did a little bit of heat protection if I'm not mistaken it's all rubbed off on the back but yeah it was nice and then this was a birch box size so it's pretty small but it's by way and it is their wave spray and Oh, it smells really good and I like the packaging and um, I'm pretty notorious for like being too lazy to do my hair I mean it's actually like kind of curled and done right now but a lot of the time I will just have wet hair and then I will braid it and sleep on it and then work off of those like braided wave vibes and so that's where wave sprays come into play for me they help amp up those waves and this one was really really nice like I could definitely tell the difference of if I were to just let my braids totally dry and add no wave spray they would still have a wave but when I would do this it was like it would just hold them even better it was like more of a defined pretty wave so I'd be interested in buying the full size last I have skincare and then we're done this is a Clarisonic brush head I don't have much to say about this other than that I love Clarisonics and I recommend them this was a sheet mask by Tony Moly um, it's the I'm real seaweed skin purifying sheet mask I think the packaging on these are so fun and cute Tony Moly I'm pretty sure is a Korean brand I really liked this uh, I mean it was your, your standard sheet mask it's not like it like changed my skin but it was like a nice big sheet mask uh it smelled nice it seemed to work well it was a good one like 
I liked it. This was a Birchbox sample, but I actually really loved it. This was the Too Cool for School Egg Mellow Cream. It was like Okay, so it says it's a 5-in-1 firming moisturizer, and it was just perfect. First of all, it smelled really nice, and it was great for winter, which is like when I used it. It was really emollient, but not too, too, too heavy or greasy. Um, a little bit, like, heavy and greasy, so I definitely, like, like to use this at night a little bit more, but I did use it during the day as well. It just felt really soothing and nice, and I would wake up with, like, glowy, hydrated skin. And then during the day, it worked just fine, and I would put my makeup on, and I was fine. But, yeah, I really liked it. I don't know that it firmed me. I don't know. It was also a small tube. It's not like I used a ton of it, but it was good. Like, I'd be interested in the full size, but there's just so much skincare, so little time. Do you ever feel that way? Like, there are so many people out there who will rave about, like, Sunday Riley's the best thing you'll ever see or like um Drunk Elephant is the best thing you'll ever see or like this is the like do you know what I mean and then different skin types and different skin like it's just hard there's like not enough skin to get through all the skincare out there anyway sorry for that weird tangent the last two yeah we're still on skincare so this is my La Roche-Posay and Thelios uh breakout free it's like a specific face sunscreen, I think. Where does it say that? I thought, yeah, because it's breakout free and it's an SPF 60. Oh, it says face at the top. I thought I had heard that like SPF 50 is technically the highest it can go. I don't know if that's true or not, but I do really like this and I have repurchased this. It's just like a pretty much unscented, it doesn't really smell like sunscreen, lightweight yet effective sunscreen. I put this on top of my skincare every single day and it's true, it doesn't break me out. And I mean, SPF is important, especially on your money maker here. So uh, yeah, I recommend it. It's like semi pricey, I get it at Target, but I think it's worth it, I don't know. But I would be interested if anybody has any SPF recommendations, go ahead and leave them below because I don't know, I would just be interested. Again, I'm very interested in skincare. Okay, last product. This I think is like my second tube of this or bottle and then I have another one in my bathroom now. This is a Sunday Riley product. It's the UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil, Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. It's made with salicylic acid. 1.5% so it is for acne prone skin which is my skin but again knock on fake wood it's been fairly like decent. The other beauty about this is even though my skin hasn't been horrible it's something that's also meant to like prevent future breakouts so that's why I continue to use it. It's not just to treat them but it will treat them if you have them. Um, it will make a difference but like on the back it talks about that it has tea tree oil and black cumin seed to help support clear skin and then it will like help brighten and lighten old like hyperpigmentation and stuff like that and it'll just kind of help keep everything like in balance I guess you could say to again promote like breakout free skin I don't know if that makes sense um so it's nice I use it every day during the day all over my face and I quite enjoy it so I would recommend giving that a try um I'm a big Sunday Riley fan I don't use a ton of her products but um I'm a big fan of the ones that I use and this is one of them. So that is it for this round of empties. Thank you guys for watching. I feel like that was a little bit shorter than normal, which is good, but knowing me, I will have another one fairly soon. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. I didn't like that. I don't want to do a thumbnail. Oh, I look like a fool today. I'm like posing like a freak.